today I wanted to share with you a bag review on this utility tote bag from Ibifun. So you guys, I have shown you a Weekender bag from them and a neoprene bag. And this is their utility tote that they have. And this has so much organization in it. So they did send this to me to review for you guys. So thank you to Ibifun for sending this. This comes in a lot of different patterns and colors but let's get into the organization of this bag and all of the details and let me show you how it looks on. So this brand brings some really nice organized products at reasonable prices. So I do have a link down below for you guys. If you click directly on that link, it will give you a discount for if you do like this particular utility tote bag, which brings the price to I think $32.29 or somewhere around that. It's under, it's under $33 if you click on that link because that will send you straight to the discount for this bag. So this is really reasonably priced for the amount of organization and the amount of things that you can hold in this bag. So this comes in this brown leopard or cheetah print. There's other prints, there's other solids. There's really nice nautical looking ones that have stripes on there. Great travel bag, great everyday bag. Just a lot of organization in here. And this is also a good work bag because it actually has a place that you can put your laptop as well. So let's just go ahead and get into the organization of this. So this is a tote style bag and it does have like the, it's like a seat belt, whatever that material is a seat belt's made out of, that's what these straps are made out of. And then it does accent the bag by going down in the front and in the back as well. On the bottom, you do have a smooth bottom, no feet or anything on it. So on the side, you do have these mesh pockets. So two mesh pockets on each side, you have one. And then it also has a top zipper, which is nice because you have all of this organization around it. And a lot of times these utility totes are just an open top, but it does have a zipper on here and it's a nice smooth zipper. So we'll go on the inside in just a minute because there's a lot of organization on the outside, you guys. And I'll leave the dimensions for this in the description box. Whatever the strap drop is and the dimensions of this, I will put that in the description box because right offhand, I don't know what it is. So besides the two mesh pockets that you have on the sides, you have this pocket and it's a double pocket. So like the top pocket does go down, I think the entire length of the bag. Yeah, so the top pocket goes all the way down to the bottom and then you have the like stacked pockets across here. This second pocket goes down to the bottom, but it's about halfway down from the top pocket. And you have those all the way across. So you have three pockets on the bottom and three pockets on the top. So a total of six stacked pockets on the front of this. Two mesh pockets on the side. And then when you turn it around to the back, you have even more pockets. So this duplicates the front. So again, you have the stacked pockets where you have three shorter pockets on the bottom and they fit a little bit more because you can kind of see how they come out as the top ones are a little bit tighter. So they will have to fit things that are a little bit more flat than the ones on the bottom can fit some thicker things. So you have six in the back, six in the front, two on the side. You have 14 pockets on the outside before you ever get in this bag. So now let's just go ahead and get into it. So I already have it unzipped for you guys, but it does have a zipper on here. It also comes with another bag. So like a little wristlet bag. Now this is a thin bag. It's, it's not even lined really on here. So it's very thin, but it has a really nice wristlet strap on here, silver hardware. So I don't know what I would put in this because it is thin. It's not protected too much. So just Think about that when you're putting things in here. You don't wanna put anything like tech related or anything in here because there's no padding or any kind of lining or anything in this. But this is a great little wrist lift. On the back of this, let me just pull this up so you can see, it does have this Velcro strap and it's black on the inside so this is not gonna be so easy to see. So it has this Velcro where you can put a laptop. The website says that it will fit up to a 16 inch laptop on here. It has a slight amount of padding on here, but I would not put my laptop unless I had it in a sleeve. So I do have a sleeve for mine that has a lot of patch. It's like a velvet padding on here. So I would put my laptop in here, no problem. I wouldn't mind doing that. But if it is one that doesn't have a sleeve, I wouldn't put it in here because it doesn't have as much padding as I would like for my laptop. But that's nice that you can use this as a work bag. So underneath that, you have an additional three cargo pockets under the laptop. So you could put cords and things like that if you do carry your laptop in here. And then when you turn it around to the front wall, you have even more pockets. So you have three little cargo pockets up at the top of that and then three mesh pockets under here. So you have a total of three cargo pockets, three mesh pockets on the front wall, a place for your laptop, 
and three cargo pockets on the back wall. So lots of organization in this bag, you guys. It has a lot. So this is a really nice utility bag, it's lightweight. So let me just kind of show you how this would look so you can kind of get a size reference on this. So I kind of just wanted to show you, I am 5'5 five five for reference, a size medium, and you can see how this looks like on the front and then on the side. So you can see kind of the size of this one. It's a good large size utility tote. I wouldn't say it's a medium size. It will hold a lot. To begin with, it's lightweight. So I don't know, depending on how much you pack in this, if you are someone that's gonna pack your computer, a computer can make this a little bit more heavier on your shoulders. But if you are packing things for beach, picnic, things like that, it might not get too heavy. I have it empty as of now because just I wanted to show you all the organization inside of it. So I don't actually have it packed up, but it's really nice and lightweight. You can't even tell it's on your shoulder, but just kind of wanted to give you a size reference. So it also comes with another strap where you can carry it crossbody if you want to do that as well. This bag is a little bit too large for me to carry crossbody, so I won't be ever carrying it crossbody, but let me just show you what it will look like in case you're somebody that wants to see how this would look crossbody. So here is how it looks crossbody, and I know a lot of people don't like to wear a tote shoulder, but they might want the bag for the organization and want to distribute the weight a little bit better by carrying it crossbody, so I did want to just show you how it looks. So this is the same kind of material that the tote straps are made out of, and the hook is a plastic hook and your D-ring is a plastic D-ring. So it's not a metal, it is a plastic. So as always with my bag reviews, I do like to kind of end on my final thoughts on the bags after I show you all the components of it. So this is the utility bag and the things that I love about this bag is the organization. I love organized bags, you guys know that. The fact that this has 14 different pockets on the outside of this before you ever get into the inside is just really nice. That's why I think it's just perfect for spring and summertime, traveling and things like that, picnics, parks, beach, anything like that. I think that the straps are a pretty good size strap. I think they're reinforced enough that they're not gonna have to worry about them tearing or anything. It's nice that it does have the option for a laptop that's up to 16 inches. Organization on the inside is just as good as the organization on the outside. And it feels like it's gonna be a nice wipeable fabric where you're not gonna have to worry about it getting dirty. The size of it is a really good size and the price is right. At under $35, you can't beat all the organization in this bag. The only drawback that I have of this bag is that it has a plastic hook and a plastic D-ring. That's the only thing I don't like. It does still have the swivel, so it doesn't matter which way you put it, it will be the right way. But I just don't know that I like the plastic on this. I do prefer a metal on here, but the material that it is, I think that the plastic did go better with this and the price. You're going to get the plastic material with the price of this one. So I think this is a really great utility tote bag and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would also love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button. I do weekly videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I hope to see you in my next video and until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.